Hello everyone, it's me, Yusha Moplexionic, and I'm bringing you guys Linkseon. It's basically Commando Link Speed and Moplexionic combined together. So, a while back ago, I had this idea to where maybe Commando Link Speed could combine with Moplexionic, even though um, Moplexionic is Nico, which is human, that has super sentient robot powers, and Link Speed is just a complete robot. Like, he's a complete sentient robot. He's not human, he was just, he's just robot. Like, a sentient robot. Versus Nico becomes a robot. Because he has super sentient robot powers, so he becomes that. Now, the difference between Commando Link Speed and Moplexionic is that Commando Link Speed has one type of weapon. And Commando Link Speed is super fast. And he, he could be strong, but he's not... But he doesn't have, like, um... He's not, like, Moplexionic to where... Well, Plexionic could actually change weapons and actually become a vehicle form. And on top of that, well, Plexionic is really armored too. So they're they're both they're both really strong in their own ways, but overall command link speed I would say has really has a little more advantage. But Moplexionic, well link speed and Moplexionic have they both have things that they um that they they don't have there's certain skill sets that they have that both that would make a both comb good really good combination if they combined so this is command only speed and Moplexionic basically combined not the not the um figure that I made but not this one right here that's standing um this is just it's a separate type of thing that I made so right now this is just a vehicle form so I'm gonna turn it that way you guys could see how it looks so this is the side this is the back And of course, you guys saw the front right here. And I want to talk about more about like this form. So basically, this is like a some sort of newer vehicle. It's like it is a flight truck, but it's a different type of truck in a sense. And of course, it does have its. It, it's like almost even like a command base too. So since it's both of them put together, they're they're actually like this is a huge form essentially. And also one thing I adapted into this was I put um detachable ships fighters in this one as well. So if you guys remember in the um the the last um video I posted where it was my Optink Prime form that had detachable ships that come off the forms. I I adapted that into this one as well. So this because I really like that idea of how of how that how that happens. So it makes it makes it even like this figure really cool too. So it just makes it twice as better. Also, so you guys see, actually I don't think you guys see that, so yeah. Okay, well, let me put these back in here. Now, if you guys are watching this, do not skip the video footage because a lot of because like this transformation there there's more to this so i'm going to put this to the side real quick and show you guys something else 
So this, what makes this figure even more interesting is this too. This is like a, another, this is an extension to that figure. So it's kind of like a, a trailer that doesn't, de doesn't attach. It's pretty much like controlled. And it has artillery, like it has weapons on it too. So it could, it has guns that shoot from this way. And then it has guns that could shoot from side. So like there's different pop out weapons and stuff I believe that I made on this. So yeah, there's a lot of different things on this figure <clears throat> gave it wheels just in the front part because it helps with the with um rolling around originally it's not really supposed to have wheels but i just added them on here <clears throat> excuse me but yeah that's what i made for this now before i actually transform the actual mode i'm going to transform this part first this trailer so you guys will see why don't skip the video so these this becomes legs so i just put the feet down right here now i'm going to um let's see okay So one thing to so this the legs um extend out well these well it, it's supposed to extend out so these become the trailer of course yeah it does become legs so just connect that there and then go to the other side and then do the same thing. I hope you guys could see what I'm doing because okay. Get that in. Got that connected. Oops. Make sure. Everything's in place. And then this right here. Well, originally I also made it to where um, even though it forms, there is, there's this, this is already a foot, but I made it to where the heel or the foot can, um, become taller, basically. So, I am going to connect this to that. It's a little bit... Difficult sometimes. There we go. That part. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then same thing. This part. It's in place. I could get it going here. There we go. Oops. Okay, now stand this up, and turn it around. That way, you guys could see because this is exposed, so there's like this hole in the back of the legs. See, so I made it to where this folds over 
covered. Can I see how it covers versus that side? Same thing on here. Good. Ah, it's hard to transform from certain angles. So, been doing this for how long, and I still have a hard time with the camera angles. <laughs> okay, then see the turrets. Part of the turrets basically become like covers at this point. The only working turrets, I would say, that work are the side guns below the feet at that point. And there's another option I could do with that. I could flip this panel up and then put put them in like that. Like just hide them. Then same thing on this side. Just go boop. There we go. Now I am going to bring so now this is essentially just legs. So I'm going to bring that back right here. We'll get back to that later. After we go into the robot mode right here. So this the main the main mode is this. So I'm going to put that that. Then got to attach a couple parts. Okay. There is basically parts that latch on that way because these are these are legs so okay that part and then pull this up. And then I pull it out. That. And then I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, no, I'm not. So, what did I see? So, there's parts to attach. This is basically like the, I want to say, well, these are panels that kind of go over the thighs. So they kind of like attach, like from, they just go over more on the, the top. And so, yeah, but you guys will see why the way this thing is designed a certain way, why it looks different. Just a second, I'll explain. Okay. Attach this. Here that would be. Nice, there we go. Okay. Just this up real quick. There's another pieces that I have to put together real quick. Let's see where are they? Ah, there they are. Hey, got a little quiet there. I'm trying to try to transform this. So this is the, the back. Go, and then just pull these back in. I got a little stuck from there. I forgot to um move these out before putting the lights together. So that's why it kind of got stuck in. Gotta remember to transform that out next time. 
Hey. And then so these out like that. Go. So pretty much got this done. So this is Links on Ultra Mecha mode and and more of like a a base the base form of them combined. So that these are the arms so they're they're basically formed into like some sort of guns right now so it's kind of like a beam cannon and maybe this is like some sort of like sniping rail gun right here this side here and then this is the beam cannon and yeah it's a little bit of a different robot form i don't lie it looks a lot different Oops, it, it, it actually looks more like a, like a mecha. It does stand on its own, so. Yeah, okay, good. Let's worry about that. Also, another thing is too, the head detaches and it becomes a ship. As you can see, it has like wings and stuff, so fly around. Ever. Let's go. That's hot that's an option too. And then yeah. It's pretty much form. Now, here's where it also gets partly interesting. So I'm going to remove this again. Put it right here. And then See. Then I'm gonna lay this down like this. Remember. Then put these out. And then going to so like the arms move back on this once I get this detached come on there we go extend and that part that you saw guys saw earlier when I was transforming the back the parts that extend out um, the rods, oh, whoops, well that just happened, <laughs> okay, oh that, these go, it basically goes out, then it attaches into the, the arms, then, let's see, let me get the other arm, if I can, Come on. So now when I'm doing it on camera, it does this. There we go. Okay, finally got that part. Then that attaches there. So not finished yet. Then we're going to get the legs going. And then this is where things get more interesting. Okay. Guys saw that? Well, okay. 
the legs become basically, oh, whoops. Basically become arms. Oh. Come on, there we go. Okay. Then, let's bring this over here. Then, let's see if I could get, come on. Got to line it up perfectly. Come on. Here we go. And then we get the head or the ship that becomes a head. And then And boom. There we guys have it. This is the full form. Hopefully that's still recording. I want to bring it up close so that way you guys could see more. So this is Link Sons. Ultra Mecha mode, the the full like super mode version of it, a Gatai form. So, well, Plexionic and Leap Speed put together. So, and to zoom in, show you guys from down up. Now there's some times where the form gets a little, little unstable, parts move a little bit, but you know how that is. And then, let's see, hold on, let me, there's no, um, there's hardly lighting showing up from the side, so let me, it's a big figure, so I want to cover. I want to show you guys with lighting how how it looks side by side. Okay. Now the back. It's a it's a big figure, so. And plus, I'm kind of recording in the middle of, like, it's, it's barely, it's barely morning still, so, okay. Now you guys see that? Oh, and the, the side looks the same, it looks the same pretty much. Almost so. Well, I'm, I'm gonna show it anyway because of how how the gun or how on one side is different because the other arm that became a cannon in the back um, is a different look. So I'm just gonna show you guys that anyway. So yeah. <sighs> so this is. Big figure. Now, I want to see how it looks standing, or we're gonna see how it looks standing beside um, Moplexionics. Yo, well, beside that, yo, yo, Moplexionics Ultra Assault form, or is Ultra Assault mode. Oh boy, I'm gonna need a bigger desk. 
our table. My gosh. You guys could see that. Please tell me you guys see that. Oh, like that is, they are big figures. Had to, man, I need more room. <laughs> Pretty soon, if I if I do move somewhere else and actually have my own you know apartment or place, I will probably <laughs> yeah these guys will be yeah, definitely on display. I I don't I plan not to destroy this um anytime soon because th this figure took it took two days to make, but still it's it's a really good figure that I. I made this, this is my essentially my first really really good robot form that actually or how can I put it? transforming robot that actually combines with like with its own self and so yeah well it's command of link speed ammo plexionic put together basically Te technically it's it's this this one with combined with link speed but it's just the you know se it's just a separate figure so you know how that is so but yeah anyway guys um thank you for watching this video is 26 minutes or over now that thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and see you guys around